Thirty years ago this month, eight dynamic and forward-thinking women got together to make a difference in our community. And did they ever? It wasn't long before the Women's Center grew from a small gathering of determined women to what is today one of California's most respected crisis intervention organizations. Just who are these dynamic founders of the Women's Center? Today, Ellen Pulley Blank Coffee is a clinical psychologist in Berkeley, specializing in family and community practice. She teaches graduate and continuing education courses on family issues and is writing a book about resilient women. Elizabeth Croker. As a registered nurse, Elizabeth was passionate about women's health issues and brought her knowledge and compassion to the Women's Center. Elizabeth and her family were living in Australia when an automobile accident claimed her life. Elizabeth was in her early 40s. Sue Harper spent many years working in the fields of women's health, HIV AIDS prevention and care, and protecting the environment. She's continually taking classes to broaden her knowledge. Her current goal? To conquer the Spanish language. Maria Heffernan has worked at Head Start Child Development Council since 1977. She's currently coordinator of disabilities and mental health services. Maria also has a private practice providing therapy to adults and couples. Diane Morgali. As one of the founders of the Women's Center, she discovered a zeal for advocacy, including the exhilaration of asking for money from reluctant funding sources and getting it. She later became director of Sunflower and served as commissioner of the Housing Authority for 12 years. Diane continues to serve on the Women's Center Finance Committee. Janelle Reinold is Associate Dean of Graduate Studies at UC Irvine. She's also the President of the International Federation for Theatre Research. She's been widely published on the topics of contemporary British theatre, feminist theatre and the politics of performance. Mary Lois Thompson was heavily involved in school desegregation and busing for Stockton schools. She was a dedicated elementary school teacher with Stockton Unified. Now retired, Mary has rediscovered her love of painting and is involved in the local art scene. Bernice Turoff is semi-retired but still very active in the American Civil Liberties Union, the Peace and Justice Network, and the California Women's Agenda. These determined and dedicated women were backed up by six more equally impressive women who were instrumental in setting programs in place that first year. These pioneering women are Ann Baird, Linda Bowen, Stephanie Candini, Candace Diamond, Judith Jones, and Pat Spear. So it's little wonder that when these courageous women set their minds to something, they got it done. The buzz these 14 women created 30 years ago could be heard around the valley. The Tracy Press wrote, There's a new source of energy in Stockton, a place where the action never seems to quit. And that energy has continued to push the Women's Center to greater heights. Currently, the Women's Center sees over 24,000 women, children, and men who've survived domestic violence and sexual assault each year and has become nationally recognized. Their initiative and perseverance has provided an outreach center that continually touches and changes lives. Certainly, this would not be possible without the support of so many agencies and individuals who've continued to support the Women's Center. For that, we thank you. You've made a tremendous difference in the lives of hundreds of thousands of survivors, and you've made our community a better place.